All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how uh, to create a button such as this one right here that will trigger um, an animation or uh, in this case, you know, it'll trigger certain icons to flash across the screen or slide across the screen. But uh, in the case here, as you can see, um, triggering this button does two things. It shows them and then, you know, you're cutting the switch off, so to speak, and then it removes those icons. And what you'll also notice here is that if I scroll to another page, those things will disappear. So we want to make sure we take care of that as well. So let's go ahead and have a look at KLWP. All right, inside of KLWP, I'm going to uh, start with a blank canvas. And for the sake of this video, I'm going to add a background image. So we have our background image. And in this uh, video, what I'm going to do here is uh, I got two pages. Um, you can add more if you like, but I'm just going to stick with two. And the idea here is this. I uh, will use this page for other stuff if you wanted to add some more things. But down here, I want to create a button and that button I want other things to slide out of it um, over here into these three fans and once you get the idea of how to do one and then you can copy it um, you, you can let your imagination wander and you can move your button around but um, this is going to be a tutorial on how to do this but I'm going to make it somewhat uh, attractive but then again we're going to do it fast too so um, in our root folder let's go ahead and create a global variable and we're going to create that switch so we're going to add an on off switch and I'm going to call it action. This is the only global variable I'm going to create in this video. I'm not going to create any fonts or colors or anything like that. So back in our items, let's go ahead and do an overlap group and this is where we're going to create our button. So I'm going to go ahead and name this button because we will create a few more overlap groups in this video. So this is the button that we will actually be pressing to trigger our other animations. Now, in our overlap group button, of course we got to create an actual button like a shape, but what I'm going to go ahead and establish is the touch. When we touch this button, we want to toggle our global switch. So we'll toggle it on and off, and our switch will be that action global variable button that we just created. So we're good there. Um, let's go back into our root folder. So there's our button. Let's actually make the button and I'll add a shape inside of here. And just for the sake of this, I'll use a square and let's just make it a touch bigger. And um, of course you can change your color, but uh, I'll leave that up to you. And uh, I want this to be in the bottom right hand corner. I did say I want it to be down here and I want things to slide out. So let's move our button to the bottom right hand corner of the screen. So I, I'm not moving just the shape. I'm going to move the entire overlap group that I call button to the bottom right hand corner. So there's our button down there. All right, so back to our root folder. We've got our button established. And remember, we did establish the touch for the entire overlap group. Now let's create another overlap group. And let's call this one time. Let's suppose that we want one of our things sliding out when we trigger our action. Suppose we want it to, to be on some type of uh, shape and we want it to show the time. So again, what I'm working on now, I've already got my button created. I want this here to slide out and I want it to come up here somewhere. So let's go ahead and establish that. Uh, let's go ahead and add a shape. And I'll do another square. And we'll do this uh, square. We'll make it uh, nice and big too. Of course, we'll be hiding this in a few minutes. And I'll tell you what, let's go ahead and add the time. So inside of this overlap group, we're also going to put uh, text. And I bet that text is white. That's why it's not showing. So let's go ahead and make that. Um, a darker color. We'll, we'll make it whatever, as long as we can see it. And okay, you can you can mess around with the size if you'd like, but for now, I'm good. Now, so this overlap group that we've called time, we also want it to start down here in the bottom right hand corner. So let's position it, 
in the bottom right hand corner. Again, make sure you're moving the entire overlap group. Make sure you're not just moving um, just that shape. So again, I'm not moving just this and just this. I'm positioning the entire overlap group in the bottom right hand corner. Now let's go ahead and have a or put an animation on this. So a couple of things we want to happen. We want this thing to slide out when we touch that action button and uh, it's probably a good idea to make this thing fade in. That way you're not going to see it down here and you're only going to see it when you press the action button. So let's go ahead and do that. We want two animations right now. One animation is we want to scroll when we tap our global switch. So when we tap our global switch, and remember our global switch was titled action, we want it to scroll, and let's go ahead and press play right now, and you're going to notice that this is going to slide to the right. Think of that as zero degrees. See how it slid to the right and it's sliding back? Um, so we want it to scroll, uh, and I'll tell you what, we want to overshoot. You don't have to do this, but overshoot will cause it to kind of have a bounce, and it'll, see how it bounced? and it overshoots its uh, location, it goes pew, and it bounces back. It also does it when it scrolls out here as well. But this is zero degrees. I want it to go up here. So here's how you think about this. We'll mess around with speed in a second. Here's zero degrees, here's 90 degrees, here's 180, and here's 270. So 270 will shoot it straight up. Notice the zero, it shot it that way. 90, 180, 270. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it up somewhere around uh, I don't want it to go straight up. Let's see what 260 looks like. It should be right around here somewhere. There you go. See how that shoots up at that angle? Now if I adjust that a little bit more closer to 270, notice 270. I'll go ahead and put it there. It shoots it straight up. So let's go somewhere in between there. How about 265? That looks good. Now, Duration is how long it lasts. That's not 10 seconds. I don't know exactly what a 10 represents, but if we adjust this time, say, down to 1, it's going to be super fast. Boom, boom. Um, let's, let's put it back at 10. I think 10 is good. Now, the speed at which it's, uh, how fast is this thing going to travel over that time? Well, let's bump the speed up a little bit, and the speed means it's going to travel a further distance. So let's bump it up to about 1. 40 just for the sake of this video and as you can see look how much higher it went because it's traveling faster over that duration um, and notice what it does is it overshoots and you're going to notice when we save this in a second it is going to stop there and we have to actually trigger the action button to make it go from here back down to here um, I'd say we're pretty good with that for right now and like I said, we want to add one more because we want this thing to hide. So let's add another global switch because we want this thing to fade in when we hit our action button. So we're doing the same trigger, but now we'll change the action that hap uh, happens. We want it to fade in. So now notice it just, it just disappeared on us. And let's not mess around with any of this stuff right now. Of course, we can always come back and tweak this, like how long do we want the fade to last? How much do we want it to fade? Do we, do we want to delay? And we'll see these things in a few minutes. But for right now, we're good with these two things. Let's have a preview. So I saved it, and now let's go to the home screen. And now notice all we have is our action button that we created. If we tap it, notice it did fade in. It did slide up, and then if we press it again, it's going to come down and fade away. So we've already got our first one done. Now, this is not exactly attractive with the colors and stuff, but I'll leave it up to you to change your shape or maybe add an image, mess with your colors, and mess with your text or whatever you want this thing to be. And once you get used to this, you can even make another action button, and you can tap this to make it do something else, or maybe you can tap this to open an app or whatever. But for now, I'm just showing you how to get the animation here of the scroll effect. Now, something I'm noticing, though, while we're here, is that when I press this, the, the object is sliding up, but we don't see a lot of it sliding up because of the fade. So notice it is sliding up, but you don't really see it till way up here. Let's make it appear a little bit quicker. So we want to adjust that fade. Sit back in custom live wallpaper. Let's go back to our root folder. Let's adjust the time. And now we want to go back to that animation of this whole time overlap group. So let's make it fade in much faster. 
like maybe one. It's not one second, but that's definitely going to fade in much quicker. So if I save this, go back and preview it. Now watch, you're going to see this thing pop up much faster. See that? See how much quicker it slid up there? And then now the only thing about that, you can uh, tweak these settings, is when you make it come back down, it's going to fade out much faster. Watch, it disappears almost instantly. Whoops, not like that. It almost disappears instantly when I press that. But you can mess around with those settings. But as you can see, we do have it fading in and out and sliding. Now I want one to come up over here. So here's a little cool feature to save a little bit of time. If you're happy with the first thing, the time that we had, why don't we just take that time overlap group and let's copy it and paste it. And let's just rename this one to weather. Because maybe you want the temperature to pop up. Now I want weather to come out over here somewhere, maybe not as far or, and uh, let's just go ahead and mess around with it. So weather, I'm going to keep the same shape. You can change the shape. Um, I'm going to definitely change the text at least. And I want to see the, the current temperature. So weather info, and let's just get the temp. But you can put whatever you want to put for these. Now, the reason why I said copying that overlap group that we had time and we've already named, renamed this to weather. The reason why, if we go to that overlap group weather, the animations are still there. So it's going to fade in and it's going to scroll. Now we want this one to scroll over here though because right now it's going to scroll to the exact same spot that we copied from. So let's knock down our degree a little bit. Remember how our angle was around 265? Now remember earlier I said 0, 90, 180, and here's 270. Of course, we were at 265. Let's knock it down to like 245 and see what that looks like. All right, let's press play. As you can see, it is out there. Now you might say, oh man, it's invisible. We can't see it. Well, here's something you can do if you want to preview things before you go back to the home screen. We can go back to our root folder and go to globals and we can actually trigger the uh, buttons ourselves. So notice they did pop up. If we cut this on and off, it's basically applying that fade in and the scroll effect. And that's a pretty good angle where we have that, that weather. I, I like exactly where that is. Um, and again, I did that by adjusting the, what did we do, 245 degrees, I think. Yeah, 245. All right, do you want this one to go not as far? If you don't want it to go as far, let's adjust the speed. See how it's getting a little bit closer and I can make it come even closer too. Like two, you might notice that it is getting a little bit closer. Um, here, this will shoot it off the screen. Bam, it's off the screen because that's super fast. But uh, I'd say, let's go with 120 wherever you want to put it, but that right there is good. All right, backing out of this, saving, and let's have a preview. Now, what you're going to notice here is that they're both going to slide out at the same time, and they're both going to last the same time. Are you seeing that overshoot? It overshoots it, and then it stops. Well, maybe you want this one to come out first, and you want this one to come out as a slight delay after this one has already started coming out. Let me show you how to do that in KLWP. There are so many settings you can tweak in here, um, but I'll go ahead and show you how to tweak this one. So making sure I'm in the right overlap group, weather, animation, let's tweak the scroll. We want this one. We're talking about this one. We want it to be a slight delay um, after we press the action button. If we, press, if we have a slight delay after we press our action button, that's going to give time for this first one to come out. And then let's just put a delay of, say, two. If we put a delay of two, that means this one's going to slide out, and shortly after, you'll see this one. So it kind of gives it like a fan effect, like it's fanning out. They're not all shooting out at the same time. You don't have to do this, and you don't even have to do what I'm about to do right now either with the fade in. I want this one to fade in with that same delay. That way, this one's fading in, coming out, and shortly after that, this one's going to fade in and come out. 
that's just my recommendation. You know, if you're going to apply a delay to the scroll, go ahead and apply a delay to the fade in. So let's save this and let's have a preview. So bam, bam. You see how it kind of boom, boom. It, it didn't come out at the same time like we saw a few seconds ago. And they also come back down with that same technique too. Notice the delay when I bring these things back down. This one comes down first. This one comes down second. Boom, boom. Now here's the only thing I forgot to mention, and I'm already this far in the video. If we scroll over to another page, uh, these things are still going to be there. And maybe you do want them to be there, but maybe you only want these things to be displayed on this first page. Notice I don't have any, I just have these two pages. Maybe you want them to be displayed here, and heck, maybe once you get the hang of this, you might want a whole different type of uh, animation and scrolling and fading going on. So let me show you how to make these things fade away. The action button and even these right here. And I should have showed you this sooner because we're going to have to actually apply this to all three of these things if you want them all to go away. So back in our root folder, go into button. Now animation, the only thing, uh, we never did anything for animation of this button. All we did was apply the touch because this is our button that we touch to make this other stuff happen. However, if we want this button to fade away, let's go to um, adding an animation and on, let's do this on a background scroll. So when we scroll the background, we want this thing to do what? How about we make it fade out? So when we scroll, we're going to, and you might say scrolling from where? Since I only have two screens, I'm going to pick center. You can mess around with these settings, and I'm going to change my center to screen two. Since there's only two screens, basically when I scroll away from screen two, I want this button to fade out. Watch what happens. So I'm on screen two. If I go to screen one, notice that button faded away. Because now I'm on screen one, if I go back to screen two, it's going to come back. It's very nice. Again, you can tweak these settings to your liking, but that's exactly what I want to happen. Now I'm going to do something very similar to, let's see if, I don't know if I can copy this and paste it into the other one. It would be nice if we could do that. Let's see if we can. I haven't tried that. Let's go to time, the time overlap group animation is it gonna let me paste it perfect all right so now the time box so this should fade away and this should fade away bam and I'm just copying and pasting that animation so that can save you a little bit of time from having to recheck these settings and then let's do that one more time to the weather and let's paste it in there so now we should have all these things fading out whenever we leave and let's go back and look at those settings we should be fading out whenever we leave screen two. And I'm on screen two, so if I scroll away, my background scroll, when I'm scrolling from screen two, everything fades away. This will leave you now this page to where you can put a new action button and have even more animations or whatever you decide to do in KOWP. So let's save that. Let's go back and apply it. All right, so right now I'm on screen two. There's our two things scrolling out. Remember the delay. Feel free to come back and add a third one, fourth, fifth, however you want to do this. And come in here and tweak these. Make these things look nice. I just wanted to show you how to do it. And now if we scroll to the other page, notice we have nothing because these things disappear. And that's what's nice about this. I mean, they're disappearing when they're showing. If I make these things come down here and I scroll over, they're still disappearing. Everything's fading away whenever I do that background scroll. But yeah, there you have it. That's a quick and not necessarily the prettiest thing. I mean, you can't even see those words, but I'll again, I'll leave the, the customizing there up to you. So that's how you do, uh, I guess you could say, a triggered action button in KLWP. And that's it for this video. Hope it helped.